want to share stories that will inspire, enlighten, bring hope to people. So many people in my community are shut down. They have no voice, so like I try to amplify that through my work. I think this is what art is, you know, sharing your experience and hopefully connecting with other people. For me, art is a guide to, to travel those important journeys without being charged. We've been working in Kenya, Somalia, Sweden and Italy for the past more or less three years. Art Exchange has the mission to connect creative youth in Africa and Europe. My name is Erika Mascaro, um, Art Exchange Project Manager. I work for CSP. CSP is the lead organization of the consortium uh, running Art Exchange Project. We are really, really impressed with the way the Art Exchange Program participants have taken to this endeavor. They have been super open to learning. Uh, they've embraced a beginner's mindset. They've asked questions where they needed to learn more information. It's very, very enlightening. It's putting a lot more structure on what I was doing. So it's actually very, very helpful for me to now take the pricing and the business structure of my art a bit more seriously and do it a bit less ad hoc. I talk about my experience as an artist in Nairobi. As a female Somali artist, is a really a big journey. For me to reach it at this point was not an easy thing. It was a very rough, um, from the community to family, to security in the country, the materials, even religiously some people tell us you can't do art, it is very wrong. And crossing all these boundaries, I came to an end where I am now free to express myself. What stood out most is that it has given me a clear a clear definition of where I want to go and who I am and basically given me a voice. It was really an exciting experience for me. I came to gain new skills, new learning and uh, also making uh, a network. It was really an educative uh, session it was an eye opening. It builds our capacity in managing these things to a good level. Our task for the project is to train artists in the managing cultural heritage and planning a network in the cultural field. Uh, we have learned how to manage events in the important areas like a museum, a geological sites. We have learned to also how to develop cultural site in the community or as well as the, how to revive the life of, of that area. The sector is very diverse and it is now the fastest growing sector um, in the world. So we have musicians, we have uh, filmmakers, um, we have visual artists, um, we have people in theater and we don't have um, opportunities to have these conversations together. My expectation and my hope is that uh, this workshop from the discussions that we've had, that the people who have attended will be change makers, either in their, where they work, or can actually be able to engage even their county governments or policy makers and will be able to do their things better. وحي سو وحي سو تجلي مركا توبر كانوا يسو تجلي أنا وقت من تام ها واحد بعن قراء هنا رانتي وحن آدو فرحسنا إن النقضي جبر كلي كتب جبر كلي كقول ستك كلمة غرس بوجي جنا وحي بوجي هيلاجون سوبت سوبت سوينو سوبت هيلاجون مدام عبي عن قوة على هذا الدرب كجرتو أهمية الكواد عن كل هاي النيات إن كبر رجوي درك درك جبينا
and to um, digital. She's going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of لاول جرايب سنة حاك أم سنة إني هاي وح أنا بركرين وح هذاك تهاش قلنا وطر قلي كلي إني رجع خبطان إسم دمر كخون كرين صومر كصور رح كله حوجة حبنا كبائدي إني عن دمر كأي رجع لوضع بخون كران أي خوف كحرن تهاي إنه دلالو يهمي وقولي هاي إنه إنه جارو هرسري. We have come to this very beautiful place in Italy and I think the best thing as someone who has so many varying interests, so many ideas that always come to my mind, so many different um, expressions of how I feel, it just affirmed me to see that someone, Michelangelo Pistoletto, was able to just express all of those things through his life. I feel inspired and I feel so grateful and honored to be able to have experienced it and even met, met him in person. I think that was phenomenal and then all the beauty in Italy. Oh. Being able to be at a, at a seminar, uh, the best practice at seminar, learning and exchanging on different uh, best practices around cultural and art uh, spaces. This opened up my mind around ways you can be able to sustainably engage artists within the spaces, but also be able to make sure that uh, we're able to create an impact within the spaces that we are in. So the Art Exchange Residency is really an opportunity for artists, often quite young artists, to come together in one location, spend a significant amount of time together and to create something new. And it's really a challenge. A lot of the time artists work in isolation, but here you know that in a certain amount of time you have to create something that is going to be seen by the public. Everyone was quite open to sharing and to listening to each other. Even the fact that we all come from different realities or just different uh, countries, it just made it more, um, more interesting to see how we could collaborate and just share each other's experiences. Lord, I know she's waiting, just anticipating on my there are very few opportunities like that where artists get the opportunity to just immerse themselves completely in what they're doing. I think what's particularly special about it as well is that it's multidisciplinary. So when you're combining, you know, a visual artist um, with a dancer, it's not an obvious combination. They probably would not usually work together, but suddenly they have this opportunity to try and make sure that their, their disciplines, their artworks talk to each other. We are showcasing some of the work that we did in Rome uh, relating to Michelangelo Pistoletto's work, uh, which is the idea of third paradise. Come on, take it. No, just city. I go home with uh, more confidence, um, more um, freedom, <laughs> which is what I was looking for in my art. I feel more confident to, to, to try out um, things that I'd never tried because like we did so many different exercises, body mapping, painting, um, we're out there dancing, like stuff that I'm not usually used to doing, but now I find myself doing it, it made me think, you know what, you should experiment more in life. So that's what I'm, that's, I think that's what I'm taking with me. What I take home will be the history and the emotion of each artist from art exchange, yeah. I go home with a lot of love. I'm going home with new friends, new creatives from 
like I've met someone from Italy, from Somali, you know, who knows in the future we could be collaborating and creating new bodies of work. I feel like I have a clear path. <laughs> yeah, I feel like things are now clear. We were not alone uh, implementing this project. Um, we had five partners working together closely uh, for three years. We have Godown, UNESCO, Somaza in Somalia, uh, Natveskan in Sweden, and Cop Culture in Italy. In some sense, any kind of project, a failure or a success, is a way of learning some uh, lessons from the things we have done. This is the reason why. I really want to thank the artists that helped CISP to learn more from this project. Thank you.